2010 smart CDI <coughs> the UK model it's point eight we're changing the starter motor we already fit the starter motor there we remove the throttle valve and uh, we remove the base because the bolt as you see that the starter bolt is underneath of this base so we remove everything and we push this one force this base one side like that to get to the bolt the other bolt of the starter is right there is one of them here if I go back exactly there and one underneath of the throttle valve what we did we removed the aircon pipes in this case we didn't have any gas in it we removed the water hoses there on the engine and the alternator wiring to pull the wiring out to get the starter out of the place and put the new one so what more we remove we remove the hoses drop the engine mounting first to get the access there starter valve you see this one is blocked we must clean this one too So this is stuff we remove, so all the starter. Uh, I don't know, we remove the, <coughs> see, the back, so you got that it's easy access to the engine. Now we're gonna put the alternator wiring back. And then slowly, slowly put the water hoses back. On the back we removed. And then uh, put the, engine mounting, aircon pipes and everything so it's not an easy job um, and uh, the other thing you know you remove the suspension arm because when you want to suspension arm we removed so so all the remove here so if we don't remove that one so engine sit on this one and cause the <coughs> problem to fuel pipes underneath. So that's that one. Sit on the sensors and the stuff. So we remove that one. Uh, what more I can cover here? I said it's a big job. So you must be patient. As you see, they're all blocked inside this this diesel. Look at this. So much stuff inside. Everything blocked. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to disconnect the battery. Thank you. Smart 2010 CDI. As you see, we remove the throttle valve. We have to clean all the actuator chamber. And as you see here, the chamber here was blocked too. We clean it. This is fully blocked. The throttle valve was clean, but. This manifold was fully blocked. We're trying to unblock this one and then put them back together. So that's it. It's, we have to remove this one to change the starter. In part one, I show you. We put the starter back, everything back, the base back. So the only thing is just left with the throttle, actually, the back, engine mounting, and a few hoses. 
so that's it and the uh, aircon pipes so to show you when you remove this one to change the starter or whatever this is a diesel one is always we're gonna have this problem serious so thanks for watching bye